Oh, we're enjoying a day. Hey, you all right, Dahi? <laughs> and that's from Maura right, Maura. here. And from Maura, Maura here. Maura, how are you Quarantine doing? Quarantine daily calling Tommy Dahi. Now, Derek's in County <laughs> Cork all morning chatting to the stars of Kin Kinsale Rugby Club. Yes, after re recently reaching the under 12s World Cup final. Wow. wow. Yes, he's hopefully chatting to some future stars for Ireland. Derek, take it away. Yeah, Tommy, you're going to love what we have here this morning down in beautiful Kinsale. Finally, the sunshine has come out here, the gateway to West Cork. We're down here at Kinsale at Rugby Club. Paul McSharry is with us uh, here this morning. Uh, Paul, the club up and running since 1982, I believe. Yep, uh, yes, Derek, we're up since 1982. We had a big, um, big uh, celebratory event last year in the Kinsale Hotel and Spa, 40 years. So we're a young enough club for Cork, but um, you know the numbers are growing and, and it's, uh, it's a lovely place to be, as you can see in this very cold but sunny morning. Uh, sunny morning is right. There's a bit of a nip in the air. Great facilities here. You have a couple of pitches down. We have, yeah, we have three pitches, main pitches here. You're on pitch one, the Jim Good pitch at the moment. And then we have a couple of pitches across the road as well. Uh, yeah, over the years, we've been able to fundraise to get a lovely clubhouse for the kids and for the senior teams. Floodlights as well, so we can train all winter long, no matter what the weather brings. And you've three of them fully drained. We've three, yeah, we've three of them uh, drained as well, which is kind of important in rugby, right? Or else otherwise it's a complete quagmire, you know? Yeah, so. now Cork, the home of rugby, and you have a lot of members down here, over 500. Yeah, we're up on 500 now, so it's great. And, and particularly the kids coming up to play every Saturday morning is a lovely thing to experience so um, we're trying to grow that all the time get boys and girls up here playing rugby just to enjoy now, the sport the club well known for Rugby Sevens a huge tournament here every May on this pitch here Derek yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so every May the weather's a bit warmer then but um, we've been doing it for the last Jesus, I think it's since uh, 1988 or so um, it's, a, it's a big fundraiser for the club and the, and the community and the volunteers that get involved uh, and we can welcome up to 50 or 60 teams down here to play Sevens from all over the world so yeah, it's, it's that's a really what I was saying, and they all come down here do. down to Kinsale yeah. like, great for a boost the local tourism but great for the sport here in Kinsale as well. It is, yeah, it's a huge profile for us, for a little club like us, you know, it's a uh, it's great profile and, and like this amount of volunteers that get involved to make it happen is incredible, so it's, it's a lovely thing. Now talking of players, there's a great pedigree of players that have come through this club over the years. And still coming through, yeah, mm -hmm. so we've Scott Buckley now who's playing for Munster at the minute, Scott is a former player here as well and uh, we've had some great players play here over time and we have a few Munster representatives as well at the moment now playing underage and playing at the junior level, Mark, our, our captain Mark who was on earlier on as a junior player obviously, so look, that's we're here to play rugby to have fun, but if they make it representative, it's great. And underage is where we're at. The guys had great success over in France recently at the Under-12 tournament. We did, yeah. The weather was a bit different there now, um, but we were extremely lucky to be invited over to this Under-12s World Cup tournament that took place in just in Marseille, north of Marseille. So we got to the final, yeah, which yeah. Was, uh, was a great turn up for the books, and we were beaten 